month. The experts describe how Israel is ready for a sudden strike and make it politically impossible for Obama to do anything other than offer full U.S. military support. But Michael Chesodovsky from the Canadian Centre for Research on Globalisation thinks that in reality Israel would need Washington's backing first. Signatories of this memo are very uh, serious and uh, people, and uh, and of course this message should be taken very seriously. It is technically, from a military standpoint, impossible for Israel to actually launch a war on Iran without the green light from the United States. We have to understand that this this is not strictly an Israeli military project. The United States, since the mid-90s, in fact, has uh, indicated Iran as a possible target. And the war plans, which have been ongoing since 2004, in fact, in the wake of the, of the uh, bombing and invasion of Iraq, um, have been joint programs, US, NATO, and Israel. Uh, so that, in, in fact, the, these war plans are already ongoing. It may be convenient for Washington to let uh, Israel uh, unleash the attack. And in fact, Dick Cheney back, uh, back in 2004 intimated for, uh, that Israel uh, might do the work for us, so to speak. Iran has 10 percent of the global oil and gas reserves, five times those of the United States. It's, it's, uh, it has tremendous wealth. And ultimately, war in that region is the battle for oil and natural gas. The threat of, uh, of a war is real. Um, the implications are far-reaching. Uh, if that 